Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I want to take a minute to introduce myself again. Some people know me and some do not. I work in mental health um, and I want to just extend my hand to anyone that's out there uh, struggling with um, depression, anxiety, isolation, um, feelings of unworthiness, and even feelings where you feel like you, you don't identify with anybody. It's very important right now for you to know that someone and there are people that actually understand your walk. Um, right now, we're going through a lot of changes in the world. Um, a lot of people are looking at the world instead of looking um, through their spirit. And what we have now is a time when we're actually being called to look to the spirit. Um, I was talking with some young ladies on Facebook yesterday where we did a stream. And a lot of people are suffering mentally and others that live with them or even work with them don't even know that they're suffering because of the lack of identification. And when I say the lack of identification, people believe within themselves uh, at times that they hear or feel things that others will say they don't feel. Um, and, and when they present these thoughts and ideas to others, what happens is, is that if I don't identify with others, then I'm an outcast or there's something wrong with me. Well, you know, I'm just here to say that there's nothing wrong with you. We are all individuals. There's something wrong with a world that uh, made us believe that we could be clones and we walk and talk the same. You know, over in America, we all speak English, right? But then if someone from China comes here, they're able to speak their native language. And so, um, India and, and Africa. The thing about it is, is that Americans are not given the ability or they don't know that they can take the ability of understanding their individuality because they were given something that was inclusive or social, meaning language. Like I speak English here and, you know, I have a limited dialect in Spanish, but maybe I'm going to learn how to speak it. Um, I learned how to identify with my own heart when people laughed at me because of thoughts that I had that were not of this world. And if you hear what I'm saying, you can go and look at it in the Bible. We're in this world, but not of it. And that is for a person that has been a Christian. That's what's going to keep your sanity. And the other part of keeping your sanity is going to be um, joining groups with people that have likenesses. It's not that you have to be affirmed in what you do or, you know, in the instance of thieves um, gathered together in thieves. But when you are changing and you're experiencing depression, it's not always that it's forever. Sometimes you're feeling low because you got to learn how to pick yourself up. It's not now that people are doing it for you or like, you know, I spoke to uh, the young ladies about the church and we go into the church all the time for someone to pray for us or to give us a message. What about the message in you? So sometimes you'll experience loneliness because the spirit wants you to learn how to pick yourself up. Now, does that say that I'm coming against or speaking against a diagnosis? No, I'm not. I'm saying you can help yourself even more when mind, body, and spirit is included in your daily activity. In the world, but not of it. If you partake in the world every day and you're watching what's going on in the news, that's enough to depress you, right? And people want to escape. Escaping is not really the solution. Escape is something also that many people have done and they don't have a reality of what's going on in the real world. The real world can be your world um, that we look out at every day when we're driving on the road or your real world could be your world of formation in the spirit. And so we have at this time the ability to look at these things, but also connecting with people of like-mindedness. I am a person 
that has experienced many, many things that made me feel like I was isolated and alone. And because of that, I reach out to people and I have groups that share information to help um, lift the individual up. Um, many people have been um, traumatized and they have um, different diagnoses such as PTSD and they don't want to talk to people about it because they feel the stigmas in society. And it's time for us to lay the stigmas down. It's time for us to get help. It's time for us to come together and begin to discuss some of those out of the world thoughts and ideas and dreams that you had, by the way. So you can get that out of you and know that you're an individual with an identity. Your fingerprint is different, by the way, from anyone else's. So why would you want to say or identify with others being, um, identifying with them to say that you're right or you're wrong? Take your right and wrong from your moral compass, which is in your heart, and then go from there. Of course, we have to learn how to do that. We have to learn how to trust ourselves so that we can trust others. But if we don't go within the heart to find that moral compass, then what happens is, is that we're always going to be looking for others to identify and you know, give us their um, okay that we're doing the right thing. Out with that, you might be the, the leader that God is sending to uh, affirm and stand in a position that's going to make others feel better. So don't downplay yourself anymore. Don't downplay the visions that you see because others don't see it. Don't downplay any kind of ancestral dreams that you have because others said it's a familiar spirit. How about familiar spirits are what we do every day and we have no success in what we do, which causes depression. And I know that that will go deep because others and, you know, leaders that have studied demonic activity and all of that, they're going to say this and that. But breaking a familiar pattern that you have is going to set your life into in a new uh, dimension. You know, if you're a liar, you got a pattern. It's a religion that you practice. I told them yesterday, people are so hell-bent on being religious, but they don't even look at the negative religions that they practice daily. Negative, thieving, stealing from people. You know, your religious um, need to get to an electoral system that you ain't even studied. Your need to talk about things or be a part of something you don't even know might may it may not be the right thing for you and so on and so forth this conversation could go on you know forever but my hand is extended to those that experience depression anxiety ptsd and so on not to take your diagnosis away but to help you further on your spiritual path because that's where your breakthrough is it's on the spiritual path so ifwbuilders at gmail is where you can email me at i don't want to receive emails uh, for people that are not ready for change i don't even want to receive you emailing me if you're marketing and you're not about networking and community unity so take that extension of hand if you are a person of heart and you want to help this world from the capacity that many of us have struggled through oppression in and our ancestors have struggled through and use it wisely. Email me and you guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.